this is just a simple program that I've just started or just written shows with the dial gauge how level the table is or where the table's out of level bit noisy with the belts but here we go A little bit hard to see the dial gauge, but it's going to go across the table, step back 100 mil, go back across the table, step back another 100 mil, and keep doing that till it gets to the rear of the table. With the uh, dial gauge, I've set up a grid in XL so that I can see where it's high and low, and uh, I'll go through and I'll shim the table before I uh, do anything, and then just take a skim right across the top of it. Uh, then we'll be ready to start making hold down jigs and stuff. The machine's not too bad considering when I built it I just put it together using a 1200mm builder's level, levelled the uh, Y axis on both sides, then levelled the gantry to suit. The um, parallel Y sections are all machined parallel and the table is bolted on underneath so that it should be fairly close. At the moment the most it's out is minus 19 thou in one or two positions and it's plus 15 thou in a few other positions so not exactly sure whether the MDF table itself is um, flattened or whether it's bumpy but it's pretty good. back at Y475 at the moment, it's going to go back as far as 860, so it's still got a couple more steps to go. X travel at this, at this stage is set at 1180 maximum, so it doesn't quite go to each side, uh, but it's got 1180 workable in the middle. Not sure if you can see the dial gauge now or not, it's sort of gone down to about minus 13 foul. Starting to work its way back up to zero again now. And it'll go to plus 13 by the time it gets to the side.
Feed rate at the moment is set at three metres a minute. That was the last step back on this side. Put one more step back on the right hand side, it'll come back across towards the left, then it'll work its way forward and then it'll go home. Notice that the, y, uh, the X axis belt is a little bit noisy when the gantry or when the uh, Z axis moves across to the left hand side when it first starts. I don't know whether it's belt runoff or whether it's just because the belts are so new they might be too tight or too loose. Uh, I'll check into that as time goes by. Not sure if you've taken any notice, but the X-axis stepper motor up there is actually a lead shine easy survey motor, so it's got an encoder on it as well. 1133 ounce, 8 newton metres. And now it'll come to the front and then it'll home. Dog age is back on, it looks like plus one foul, so that wasn't too bad.